How's it going everybody? Mark Villarreal with Los Canaleros del 956 LCD 956 bait and tackle. Oof. Super early everybody. We're headed out on another fishing adventure. We're going to South Padre Island. And uh, I just got out of the neighborhood. Oh, hold on. Hold on, I see somebody walking. Oh, hold on. Who can this be? Hey bro, what's going on? Um, do you need a ride or something? Yeah, man. Dude, I see you have a badass camera in your hand. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, my uh, computer's broke. Yeah? Yeah. Do you mind shooting a fishing video? I'm pretty down, man. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, well, hop on, man. Let's go fishing. All right, let's go. All right. So we're, we started fishing here by the pilings here by the by the bridge. We're trying to target some black drum and um, Ideally shrimp is the way to go. That's what we we're catching them on yesterday and um, We just finished catching one right now with shrimp. Oh, well, I have a piece of shrimp here So we're gonna be using two things today. We're gonna be using shrimp and we're gonna be using fish bites fish bites and shrimp um, we just caught one with shrimp, but I'm gonna try the fish bites. This is very, very good for black drum, and we're gonna see if it's gonna work here. It's a drop leader, basically. It's a drop leader. We do have, I do have a one ounce weight at the bottom, and I have a, a six odd circle octopus hook, gamakatsu. And basically, all you have to do is that. That's all you have to do to prepare it. And we're gonna throw it here to the bridge. Just like that. I mean, um, ideally, we probably want to throw it next to the the pillars, right? Because the pillars hold a lot of barnacles, and these fish love to hang around all those barnacles and try to feed off of that stuff. So we're just gonna wait for the bite, see if the see if the fish bites works. If not, we're gonna put on some shrimp again and uh, hope for the best. So stay tuned. Hopefully, we get something for you all. All right. So on that rod, we do on the rod that I just threw, we have fish bites. On this one, I'm gonna go with shrimp. So fish bites versus shrimp. And I'm holding the shrimp rod on my hand because it's a lot easier for them to take the shrimp than the fish bites. The fish bites is basically a, a fiber that stays intact for a long time. And the shrimp obviously doesn't. And because I got a quick bite on my last cast. I'm gonna throw it a little bit closer to the pilings. Just a little bit closer. Right there. Right next to that pillar right there. Getting a bite. I'm getting a tug. Oh, I missed it, missed it. But they're there. I got a nice tug and I knew it was a black drum. He probably took my bait, but they are right there. Yep, just like I said, they took my bait. But you know what? We're gonna try it again for you all. Cause I have faith that we're gonna catch something right there. Man, these shrimps are pretty, pretty bad. But you know what? We're gonna do the best out of it for you all. Oh, baby, that's the money shot right there. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. Little, little tiny tugs was not good. So like, the fish was right, or there was fish on it as soon as it landed, but it was small fish, probably perch or something, because I felt the little fast nibs or nibbles. We are on. I think we found the school of them. So these fish have to be at least 14 inches. I mean, if this is a keeper, it would be a good keeper. I would probably want to cook this one whole, whole fried, but I don't know if he's 14 inches. We'll check. Let me get my ruler and then we'll all see to see. We will all see to see. Nope. He's a little under 13 inches. It's going back. But hey, we got one on light tackle. Just waiting for the bigger ones. So far, shrimp has one. Yep. Or no, shrimp has two. Yeah, Fish yeah. bites has zero. <laughs> Show us a fish. Meet that guys. Woo! Light, Light tackle. tackle. Light tackle action. So shrimp is two. Fish bites is zero, guys. We're on, baby. Beautiful. Another mini. He's not hooked on that good. Yeah, he's hooked on good. Oh, gotta be very careful handling these fish because they got some spiky fins. Check that out. Nah, he's gonna be about 13 inches. Ah, spiky fins, spiky fins. Yeah, he's off. He needs to be right there to be a keeper. Not even if you, well, no, yeah, look. He's right on the borderline. <laughs> we'll take him. Here on, here on, here on. We're on, everybody. Woo, this one's a good one. This one's a fighter. He ain't giving up easy. Uh, come on. Oh. <laughs> Woo. Beautiful fish. Perfect. This is exactly the size I want. This is my kind of eating size drum, black drum. Ah. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can hear that, but that's why they're called drum. Hopefully y'all can hear the, the sound they make. Let me get it closer to the mic. <laughs> Baby, you heard that, everybody? That's that's why they're called drums, black drum. So you have red drum and you have black drum out here in the right here in the Laguna Madre. So yeah, so we're not working with the best shrimp, but we're putting two, three little shrimps on the hook and making the best out of it because we don't have the luxury to find some good quality shrimp. But hey, you got to improvise. You got to work with what you got out here. So let's fill up a stringer and stay tuned. Oh yeah, we're on, we're on. 
Woo On again. Could it be? Just might. Barely hooked. <laughs> Maybe not. Well, yeah, he's a little long. Yeah, he is. Yep. Look at that, everybody. He's uh, over 14 and a half inches, like 14 and three quarters inches. And he's a keeper because they just have to be 14 inches here in the state of Texas. 14 to. Don't take my word for it on the maximum, but it's 14 to 30, if I'm not mistaken. But like I said, don't take my word for it. Anyway, it's five per person. Woo, we're on. We're, we're hitting these limits left and right. And we're getting the most tenderest sizes that you can possibly get, 14, 15, well over 14 for sure. 15 inches is our average uh, fish that we're getting out here. Minimum supposed to be 14 inches, but you know what? When you're catching black drum, those are the sizes that you want because it's going to be the most tender, delicious, non-parasite fillets that you can have right there. So that's the way she goes, Ricky. Woo! This one might be a little small, but they're fun to catch. Small one. No small one, guys. No, I'll give you guys. All right, everybody, so we've been fishing out here for a couple hours and we have a pretty good stringer. It's pretty nice. Um, we haven't had the best shrimp on the boat, but like I said in, in one of my prior clips, we're improvising, we're making the best out of it. Look at the shrimp we have and this this has already caught us a limit of black drum so the limit we have 10 black drum on our stringer already using this stuff and i just want to show y'all if you don't have the best shrimp out there what you want to do to be able to catch fish because obviously if you if you try putting one of these little soggy small little shrimps it's not going to be the best bait best presentation out there so what you're going to do is you're going to stack them use two to three shrimps and stack them put a buffet on there put a nice nice uh hefty meal out there for these fish you know that way it's not just one little sad shrimp on there and now it fills up the hook a little more that's two shrimp so we're gonna try our luck let's cast it let's see what we can catch with those two shrimp basically and it's still gonna work as a circle hook because it's still curved in a little bit so once it's on it's gonna be hard for that fish to come off unlike a j hook a J hook, it's it's not closed in. It's opened a little more wide, and you could probably get a fish to come off more than likely. So circle hook, when you're using bait like shrimp, cut bait, um, you probably want to use that. Alligator guard is a whole different subject, but this is more for saltwater fish, right? So yeah, we have ten fish, and I'm getting a bite already. Nibble more than anything, right? But. It's okay. You already saw what we've been catching out here. I just wanted to give you all a little tip out there that will help. Um, improvise. Use what you have. Don't get discouraged if you don't have the best shrimp in the world. Stack them up. Make that presentation look awesome, right? See you on the next one. How's it going everybody? Mark Villarreal, Los Canaleros 956. This is the end of our fishing trip for today. It was amazing, it was epic, it was very fun. I had a great time out here in South Padre Island. For those of you that are not familiar with South Padre Island, I recommend you all for, to come out here to South Padre Island and enjoy what South Padre Island has to offer. They have great food, they have great fishing, they have tons of fishing guides to choose from. And um, 
it's just a it's just a nice tourist place that you can come enjoy with your family with your friends whoever you want to bring out here it's amazing we caught our limits of black drum i i do i do saltwater guides already um i got my uh, saltwater fishing guide license already and i'm ready to book your trip but it ain't going to be able to be into after october 2023 you know to get some great fish so i'll be fishing out of port mansfield mainly and we've been targeting um, black drum, red drum, uh, speckled trout, flounder, all that good stuff, right? So y'all can reach out to me and all that good stuff. Other than that, we had an amazing day. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, visit our website at lcd956baitandtackle.com. If you want to get on a fishing trip, freshwater or saltwater, visit or not visit, but send us a message to lcd 956 bait and tackle at gmail.com and uh, reach out to us. Let us know if y'all want to get on a fishing trip. If I'm not available, I do work with other guides that will be available and all that good stuff. So we'll get y'all situated out here for some fishing adventures, man. It's beautiful. You get to catch fish, you get to enjoy, you get to eat it, all that great stuff. So I'm going to finish off here filleting these tasty black drum and this is where it ends everyone thanks everybody for staying tuned with Los Canaleros del 956 LCD 956 Bait and Tackle everybody much love on behalf of Mark Villarreal I'll see you out on the water